Um, as you can see, I'm a little bit scrubby right now with my big t-shirt with paint on it. Um, I wanted to do a get ready with me video for you guys today. I have not done a video in a really long time and I need to get back on the bandwagon of videos. Um, so today my good friend from work is getting married. So offered to kind of help her out a little bit so she can kind of relax and have the day in the morning to get her makeup done with her bridesmaids and all of that stuff. So um, I have to be at the reception hall at 12 to start decorating and then the day goes on from there. So I need something that's going to be very simple um, because it's a casual wedding and because I need this stuff to last on my face because I'm going to be running about from 11 something when I have to leave the house until midnight when I leave so, the reception So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to prime. I'm going to use three different primers which sounds like a lot but I want to target specific areas. Um, I have this little mini Too Faced Prime Poreless that I'm going to use right here. Um, I have a lot of large pores and I'm going to be looking down at my mirror too. Um, I have a lot of large pores in this area, and once my makeup starts to wear throughout the day, um, it really, it really gets kind of uh, tragic, and all my pores really, really hang out, and they're like super big. So I just kind of want to stop that from happening just in this area, so I'm just going to push that in there. Um, and the next thing I'm going to do, this is like a little sample of the new Makeup Forever um, primers that they have. This is the green one that um, combats redness. And I have a tiny bit of redness on my cheeks, not a lot. But um, since I'm going to be sweating today and wearing all of this all day, some of the makeup probably is going to wear off. And it usually wears off around my nose, um, up here, and then on my cheeks. So in case some of it does wear off, I just don't want a lot of redness to show through. I don't mind my skin showing through. Um, I just don't want a lot of redness to be poking through um, in the middle of the day because I honestly don't have time to do anything probably but like powder and that's probably the gist of it. And then all over the face, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Master Prime. Um, this is the Blur and Smooth one, just the original. Um, and I really, really like this. I feel like it holds my makeup all day long. Got some on my lips. <laughs> Um, and it really does kind of just even out the texture of my skin a little bit, and it's a drugstore product, so it's not super expensive. Um, and I just place that all over the rest of my face. I don't really put too much by my eyes because I find that a lot of face primers, I don't know if it's just me because I have sensitive eyes, they always irritate my eyes. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what it is. So I usually use like, um, an eye primer, and even some of those irritate my eyes too, but that's besides the point. We're primed. The next thing I like to do, which is probably really weird, <laughs> is my eyebrows. Once I put my foundation on, I don't like to touch it <laughs> and fiddle with it and, you know, I lean and move and stuff when I do my eyebrows. Um, I do have an eyebrow routine that I will link down below for you guys to check out a more updated one um, of me using the Sephora pencil and all of that. So I'm probably going to honestly just fast forward through this part. Um, I'm not going to turn the camera off and go through all that because we will be here all day for me trying to figure out how to do that. But I'm probably just going to fast forward through this part. Um, it's just, it's pretty simple. It's just brows. The next thing that I'm going to do, I hope you guys are close up enough. Maybe I should zoom you guys better? in a little. Now my face is cut off. Yeah, I feel like that's super tilty. You know what? We're just going to go with it. We're just going with it. If it's tilty, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, the next thing I'm going to do is a step that I usually always do is, um, well, I forgot my chapstick, so let's do that, shall we? Let's do that. Um, I'm going to do my eyes first. I always do my eyes first. I don't really know why. Sorry. Grabbing something. I don't really know why I do my eyes first. I just, I just do. I just use this Micah Beauty Primer same primer I've been using for a long time in my videos. Um, I think I got this in like a boxy charm a while ago. Um, and I actually, I really like it because it blocks out some of the color because I have a little bit of color on my eyelids and sometimes that will interfere with the shadows that I'm placing on. So I like it because it blocks out some of that color. All right, that's that. Make sure we're blended. We're blended. The next thing I do is I go in with the face powder. This is just the Tarte um, Amazonian Clay face powder in medium. And if I can find my brush, I'm going to have to move this mirror back here. That'll do. That'll suffice. Um, I just go in with my concealer brush by e.l.f. And I'm basically just going to set all of that. 
I just used the skin tone powder because I don't have one that's exactly skin tone that's an eyeshadow. Um, the eyeshadow that I like to use that's close to my skin tone is a little bit more orangey. Um, so I like to use this just to set that. Um, just so everything's easier to blend later. My eyes are watering already, guys. They're watering already. The next thing that I'm going to do is... I'm debating. I really want to use this tattoo leather thing, the tattoo liner, or tattoo liner, the color tattoo. I'm kind of nervous though because I haven't used it. I've had it forever in a country year, but I haven't used it, so we'll see. Eyes watering. This primer. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take, oh, I'm going to drop it. I'm going to take Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek, and I have this just in a little Z palette with this color and one other color. That's it. Um, and I'm just going to get it on the same big fluffy brush, and what I do is I just kind of run this. Maybe I should look at the zoomed in mirror. <laughs> um, I just run this like in the crease and also above the crease because I have a hooded eye. I like to put some colors above my crease, but if I'm going dark in the outer V, I don't like to put the dark colors too high. So this is a great transition color for me um, because it can be used above the crease and it's my skin tone, but just a little bit different. So you can tell that I have shadow there, but it's not anything, you know, so dramatic where people are like, wow, your shadow is really far up. Sleeping it on the eyelid as well, so when I put my eyelid color on, oh, it's driving me nuts. When I put my eyelid color on, I have a nice base there. So that's pretty much that. I know you probably can't even tell. Can you? No. You can't tell. Next, I'm going to go into the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. And I don't have the little slip in here that tells me what the colors are. It's somewhere, and I don't know where. Um, but I'm just going to take this cream color. It's like a matte like cream color and I'm taking a fluffy brush this is by LA colors this is the brush I used to use when doing crease work but I've um, got some Sigma brushes and stuff now but I'm just taking that and I I like this big fluffy brush because I like the highlight to look very like natural and really blend into my transition color um, so it's great for that it puts on some product but it doesn't pack it on so heavily that you know I have a huge line right there. I like it to be very natural looking, but I like a highlight there as well. My eyes will stop watering eventually, like in like four hours. So that is that. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I don't even know if you guys are going to be able to see it without me blinding you. This color right here, I don't know if it's showing that really well. There you go. From the chocolate bar palette. Same big brush. And I'm just going to go over that creme brulee because on me, creme brulee, creme brulee, pulls very kind of orangey, which is fine. I love that. I love the peachiness about it, but I just want to cool it down just a little bit because it's a little bit too warm for me on some days. Some days I really like it, and some days I'm like, whoa, with the orange. So today I just felt like one of those days, and I think now more that my hair is red, I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but I feel like it looks more orange. I don't know. So just pop a little bit of that right there beautiful. I'm really debating. I really don't think I'm going to use this just in case I mess it up. I do not have time to like do this all over again, but I think I am going to go into, um, this is something I got an Ipsy bag a while ago. I don't even, I don't even do Ipsy and BoxyCharm anymore. If you want an explanation video on that, let me know. I'll do one. This is going to be a really long video. I'm already at 14. You guys know me. This is um, Pixie, and this is just a little eyeshadow duo in Apricot Glow. And I have never used this, but this color right here I think is so, so pretty um, for the inner corner. So I think I'm going to use that on the inner corner today. And, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. Let me find my brush, though. I'm just using this, you know, eyeshadow brush by e.l.f. And I'm just going to take that. Ooh, it's pretty. More pigmented than I thought. Oh, that's really pretty. Yay. I'm going to put that on the inner corner and into the middle because um, I'm going to be putting a deeper color on the outer section. So I'm just kind of packing and then sweeping this on. This is really pretty, actually. I really like this. It's got a nice shimmer to it, and I like shimmer. So <laughs> it works for me. That's really nice. I really like that. I can't believe I have not used this yet. What was I doing? Next, I'm just going to take a Sigma E35, and I'm just going and hitting in this section right here where my crease is 
just to blend out any kind of iridescent shadow that I got up there so I don't have like a stark splotch of it. It's pretty. Do you see it? Do you see it? Probably not. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into my chocolate bar palette and I'm going to take an E25 by Sigma and I'm going to take this kind of milk chocolatey brown and I'm going to pop that kind of like on the outer third of my eye. Alright, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to move on to foundation. The foundation I'm going to be using is not that color. Is it? Oh, I guess it is. Just kidding. <laughs> it's the Maybelline Superstay, yada, yada, yada. You guys have heard me talk about this. I did a review. I use it in every single video. Um, I have been trying some new foundations, but I know that this is tried and true, and I want to make sure my stuff stays on today, so I'm going to stick with this. I did move up a color, though. This is True Beige. Um, I feel it's a little bit warm-toned for me, but the classic beige I was using in the winter time is just way too light for me right now since I'm getting some sun since it's summer, so I had to move up a shade. It's not... It's not my favorite shade, but, you know, it matches me a lot better, um, even if the undertone feels a little bit strange to me. So, we're just going to put that on with a very dirty, nasty, overused beauty blender, but um, I'm broke, and beauty blenders are $20, and while though, although they're worth it, they're definitely worth $20, um, I just can't justify right now in my broke state of life spending $20 on a beauty blender. So I'm going to use this thing, even if it's not recommended to do so, um, until it falls into little tiny pieces. Wipe this off. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with a brush by Crown Brush, if I can find it. Yeah, you see how organized I am. This is just, um, I got this in a BoxyCharm Ipsy, I don't know. It's their double-ended brush. And I'm going to go in with the um, fluffy side and take... This is 24 karat gold. This is a actual lipstick by Wet n Wilds, I believe. I think it is. Um, I take the tiniest amount of this and pop it under the eye. Like the like when I say tiny, like the I mean like the tiniest little bit, because I don't want too much color under there. But I'm trying to cancel out some of the darkness <clears throat> that I have, and I have the NYX um, corrector in medium, which you guys will see me use in one second but I don't feel like it's quite um, deep enough for my skin tone to really do what I want it to do so I just go in with that beauty blender and then I go in with the NYX dark circle corrector and this like I said is in the color medium next I'm using the Maybelline age rewind this is in the color medium as well and click some product up and I literally just dab it I don't like to swipe over whatever I've just done I just dab it underneath the eyes I bring it down just a tad just because I want everything to be nice and blended and then I go in with that same crown brush I take it like flat the fluffy side and I just push the product in with the brush and then I'll go in with my beauty blender after There we go. Under eye bags concealed. Now before it creases. Because <laughs> mine does. Um, this is the NYC Smooth Skin Translucent Powder. Yes, I got this. 50% off. <laughs> a big sticker on that. You like that? I basically just take that on the beauty blender. Just a little like that. And dab it underneath the eyes. So the next thing that we're going to do, hopefully, is tight line. And this is just the NYX Glide On, whatever. It's Slide On, Glide On, da 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 da. Long, long ass name, NYX. Like, cut it down. Like, Slide On would have been fine. Uh, but this is just in jet black, I believe it is. And I'm just going to tight line with this. Grab my trusty mirror. Um, I have so much trouble tight lining, so wish me luck. That was not that bad. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this huge Real Techniques powder brush and we're going to go back with that same Tarte powder and medium that we used um, to set the, um, what is it, primer for the eyes. And I'm just going to take that and I'm just going to lightly brush that over the face. 
And at this point, I also wipe this off. That's a such attractive face. You like that? Getting a date with that face. Down on the neck since we put some there as well. And then um, after this step, my eye is watering again. After this step, I like to spray things down a bit um, because I'm going to be adding some more powder products, powder products over top. And I want to make sure everything holds um, all day. So I'm going to be using this Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This is the little mini version. <laughs> I actually just bought this last night because I did not feel like going all the way to the mall at Sephora to buy the big ones to get a discount because that was just extra. So I just went to Ulta and bought it. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> um, but I was trying out the Kat Von D. Eh, I'll do a comparison on them um, at a later date. It's not bad. I just, I like the Urban Decay better. Next, I'm going to go in with bronzer. I'm going to be using the Too Faced um, Chocolate Soleil bronzer and an e.l.f. angled brush, e.l.f. angled blush brush. I just stick it in and then I just do a little bit here, dab it in. I do a little bit here and then go up into the temple. And whatever's left on the brush, I just run down my neck and pop random weird places on my face. Next, I'm going to be contouring. I'm going to take another one of those e.l.f. concealer brushes, and this is by City Colors. This is a contour effects kit. I'm just going to take the contour shade, which looks like that right there, and I'm going to take the small brush, and I'm just lightly contouring. I just like to use the small brush to really map out exactly where I want the contour. And that's legitimately what I really contour. I don't do the forehead or any of that crazy stuff. Um, and then I'm going to take a brush by Crown, and this is the C453. It's just a nice angled brush with fuzzies on it. And blend that out. still watering guys oh this video is gonna be so long I'm probably at like 30 minutes like I've been in here forever forever and it's like getting really hot in here like it's definitely heating up outside I can feel it and then I'm gonna take a um a shadow brush a smudger shading whatever this is real techniques and I'm going to smudge that out Sorry, I ran out of space. <laughs> I forgot I took a whole bunch of pictures on Memorial Day, and it was like, insufficient space. And I'm like, I'm in the middle of my lower lash line here. But anyway, so basically I just kind of finished smoking that out. I tried to zoom you guys in back where we were, but I'm not sure if I, the lighting's probably not right. None of that's probably right, but uh, I got to get this video done. Um, and then I'm going to take that color that we used um, on the eyelid um, from the uh, Apricot Glow by Pixie, the little um, duo. And I'm going to place that right on the inner corners just to brighten everything up. Color is really pretty. Like, I wonder if this would work as an actual, like, face highlight. Anyway, I'm going to take a little bit more of that milk chocolate color. And I'm just going to smoke out the lash line a little bit more. Because I'm not going to do any um, eyeliner down there because my eyes are going to water like crazy throughout the day. I just know it because they always do. Um, so if I do eyeliner down there, it's just going to wear off and it's going to be pointless. And I'm going to be mad later, so I'm not even going to bother. Um, I'm going to go in now and do my um, eyelashes real quick. I'm just going to use the Benefit They're Real. Um, and then I'm going to do a coat of uh, the Clinique High Impact Mascara over top. All right, so eyelashes are done. Our next step is going to be to do blush and highlights. And, oh, lips. I totally didn't pick out a lip color. Oh, my goodness. 
let's stick with blush roll. Let's let's do this. Where's my blush brush? I'm just gonna use this is actually um, the complexion brush by Elf. I like it as a blush brush because I like a lot of blush. I'm going to be using this blush by Essence. It is called Autumn Peach. It's just a really pretty, like, peachy, natural glow kind of color, and I just really like it. I like a lot of blush, so this one I can kind of pack on, and it's not so tragic, because um, you can never see my blush on camera, but I promise you guys when I go out in public, I have way too much blush on because I just like it. I don't know. But I can really pack this one on, and it's it's hard to, like, really, really overdo it because it's such a nice, soft, peachy color. And, yes, I'm going to make this face the whole time. So bear with me. I'm going to take, um, this is a dual-ended brush by um, Urban Decay. It came with their, um, the Naked Flush, I think. Yeah, the Naked Flush palette. Um, I'm going to be using... I just got this. This is the Mary Luminizer by The Balm. I ordered it. I probably could have gotten the, like, the darker one. Um, I don't know, Betty. I think Betty Luminizer. But I, I don't know. I really liked this one. Plus, I wanted something that was going to be universal all year round. I will say if you use too much of it in too many areas, it starts looking kind of funny. But maybe that's just my skin tone. But whatever. Just pop it in some rando areas. And then we're going to do the lips. Um, what color we're going to do the lips, I don't know. I'm going to go pick a color, but I'm going to have to pick a color that's like a no fuss color because as you guys know, because I've told you 17,000 times, um, I don't have a lot of time for touch-ups today. So uh, I'm going to go pick a color. Okay, so I'm hoping this color is not going to be too much with the blush, but this is the um, Rimmel Provocalypse, and this one is in, oh, does it tell me? Hey, <laughs> hey. I'll call you. And it's just this nice, like, pink color. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's this nice, like, mauve like pink. I like these because they really do stay put, and I only will have to probably reapply once um, for the rest of the day. The other color I have is a little bit too, like, deep, and I don't want to go for something so vamp. So we're going to use this. And with this, I'm just going to, wait, wipe off. Uh, extra chapstick. Um, I just kind of dot mine on and sweep a little bit in the middle. And I like to take my finger and do it because I feel like it gives me a more kind of sheer application and it's not as strong. I kind of like these um, a little bit more, I don't know, sheared out a little. Wow, this looks super bright on camera. Hello. So that's it. That's the finished look. Um, I am all ready to go. I'm going to go upload all of this to my computer to get it ready because my computer is going to take forever in a country year to upload all of this stuff and all of this talking. And I'm so sorry this is 45 million minutes long again. Um, but thank you guys for watching. Um, I will post um, pictures hopefully of the wedding um, maybe on my Instagram or on my Facebook if you guys want to check that out. Maybe I'll post some more pictures of the look and the outfit I'm wearing as well. Um, I can also post that on social media. Um, follow me on Twitter and um, Instagram and Facebook. I have all the those accounts. You can also follow me on Pinterest to see how much crazy stuff that I pin. I've actually been trying some stuff lately. So, and it's been going pretty well. So Pinterest isn't that bad. Um, but thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this very long rambly video, but I really hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me and I will let you guys know how everything goes at the wedding in the next video. Just do a little update for you. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up so I know that you liked it and you would like to see more of these get ready with me videos in the future. And I love you guys so, so much and I will see you guys soon. Bye.